Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if somebody got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. On the, the last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. the play fake he'll look to throw that is caught it's Tajay Sharp this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two fourth quarter every drive so critical and you figure may only get one more shot after this so a touchdown's imperative on this drive it is but you also have to think to yourself in play calling don't hold anything back don't save it for the second touchdown you got the first one for the second on, one to even matter 90. facing a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards it's Mixon on the counter and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line that backs him up one yard and brings up third down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Eight yards there on a first down. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more, because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to... ...the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Michael Kendricks in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And Bengals on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. They'll look to throw here. That's complete to his running back, Grant. A gain of 22. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Check, 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 check. Out, out, protein spill. Hey, exit.
Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this.